Hey guys, what's up? So all these years of me owning my cell phone, I never knew that the video portion of my phone had a flash. Yeah, and you see orbs floating. It's probably the ghosts of the people that once owned these antique perfume bottles. No, I'm only kidding. It's dust. I haven't cleaned inside this china closet in over a year, so we have layers of dust, yes. So um, I wanted to show you some of my collection. Um, but for, I also wanted to show you one I just got the other day. So what we have mainly here, the ones with the atomizers on them, are mostly from the 20s and the 30s. So the like these taller bottles here with these uh, sprayers. Are generally from that time this one actually with the original bulb by the way these original bulbs usually rot out and disintegrate um, this one is from 1906 or 1907 that was made by um, Bruder Rockman in Czechoslovakia and I'm gonna show you another Bruder Rockman bottle I just got um, I, I got this one yesterday these are beautiful Victorian lay down Perfume bottles right here. You see the zipper cuts and diamond cuts with silver tops. I really like those ones a lot. This one is a Chatelaine, and it has a chain with a little loop that hung from a lady's belt, and that's Victorian. That looks like a Venetian glass. Um, it's probably from the 1870s, I'd say, maybe a little um, earlier. Um, this one is really cool. This is a piston pump perfume bottle, and it's French. If you look, it has a Pegasus on it. I think I showed you guys this, guys this one in another video. Then we have um, these are little piston pump ones from the 30s, and they're French. And this one has Mother of Pearl with the original box. Look at the graphics on that box. Isn't that cool? Here's another one made by um, Marcel Frank. This is Marcel Frank as well. So there you go. Um, these are Czech or Bohemian bottles from the 20s and 30s, the one in the back with the enamel. Then we have another beautiful dauber um, bottle. It's not an atomizer, but this little top comes out and it has a dauber. Here's a French bottle with enamel wear. In the back we have a blue check bottle, another amber colored check bottle. Now I restore a lot of these. A lot of these come with the, uh, these are all like rotted, dry rotted, because it's made out of rubber with fabric. And I replace these. Um, you can replace them really cheap. And uh, here's a check bottle, um, again, with a Chatelaine chain that hung from a lady's hook in the Victorian era. Really cool stuff here, right? This is uh, mostly my British section. A lot of this uh, came from England, London, also Scotland. And we have, um, like, cut glass with silver, a lot of silver tops. And we have more back here. Here's a lay-down bottle with the silver top with zipper cuts. I love zipper cuts on glass. This beautiful pattern here, I think that's called a hobnail. This one is from the 20s, and it comes with little um, perfume bottles in a Japanese lacquer box. There's another British bottle. Um, a Czech bottle right there, Czechoslovakian or Bohemian from the 20s, 30s. Really cool stuff. And I have to dust everything out. There's some more. This one, um, is usually called a lacrimatory bottle, but there's no such thing. A lot of dealers call these tear bottles, um, and uh, they believe that this caught the tears of Victorian women, but that's not true. These were throwaway bottles. These were actually cheap German bottles that were uh, hand enameled. Um, some of them were made in Austria or Czechoslovakia as well. This one has beautiful uh, gold gilding with um, little jewels on it, and it's rare to see, see them in this color. Generally, you see them in a clear glass color. All right, I'm going to show you the uh, other bottle I got today. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool to collect old perfume bottles. On the top, I have, yeah, as you can see, I need to dust. I'm not very, um, I'm not a very good housewife. This is a Barbro bottle, and it was used in barber shops. Um, it would contain, um, like, witch hazel and all sorts of things that a barber would use. And you can see it from the top. Um, this is Bohemian as well, made by Bruder Rockman again. Um, yep, this is a Bruder Rockman enamel Czechoslovakian or Bohemian bottle, probably from about the turn of the century. We have a, a China head doll. This is made out of wood, this one, ebony wood, and that one's from the 30s. Yes, I do definitely have to dust up here. I haven't seen how bad it was. All right, so um, these are some of my favorite perfume bottles. Um... These ones, these are called piston pump atomizer bottles. 
And uh, some of these uh, were starting um, to be made around the turn of the century to about the 1930s. Um, some of them are hard to tell exactly how old they are unless they're marked. This one was made in about 1902 to about 1900. By accident, my big fat thumb just cut off the video. I said it was made between 1902 and 1906 by Bruder Rockman. And it's a piston pump bottle. And to get these to extend up like that, you just press down your finger on here and turn it counterclockwise or clockwise. And the little thing will pop up. And then you can just pump it up and down. Um, here's another Bohemian bottle. Um, the one in the back is another Bruder Rockman. To the right of it is an original Bruder Rockman bottle from Czechoslovakia from circa 1906 to 1907. I really like those Bruder Rockman bottles. This one is probably French and probably made by Baccarat. And it has four, not one, but four little nozzles and four compartments for perfume, four different compartments. So a lady could open one of them and dispense only one scent at a time, or she could open up all of them or three of them or two of them and mix perfumes together. This is a French one and it's a hobnail pattern piston pump. And uh, that's probably from Baccarat. This is a Bohemian um, bottle. As you can see, it's covered in dust. I have to clean it. And uh, then I have another Bruder Rockman perfume bottle back there. And Bruder Rockman, now um, there's a sad story to that. Um, Bruder Rockman, he has one of his bottles right here, um, was sadly murdered. He was an ethnic German that uh, lived in Czechoslovakia, actually in Haida. I believe I pronounced that right, in Haida, Czechoslovakia, known as Bohemia. And what happened is after World War II, um, when the Germans surrendered, the Czechoslovakians did not trust Germans at all. And a lot of them were, frankly, very angry at Germans because their people suffered greatly under the Germans. His family, actually, the two guys that uh, made up Bruder Rockman, two brothers, one made the metal and the other made the glass, um, were taken to uh, the local uh, village square and beaten and tortured in front of everybody um, because they were German and uh, they were not Nazis. They employed hundreds of uh, ethnic Germans and Czechoslovakians in their factories, but the Czechs and uh, you know the roving gangs of Czech partisans grabbed them and beat them with rubber truncheons along with women and elderly people and children as well in the uh, square of the village and uh, tortured them overnight until the point where they were unconscious. They kept pouring buckets of cold water over them. There was an eyewitness account about this, which is very sad. Um, and uh, what they did was they shot the two brothers in the head. And uh, that was, I think, in 1946, after the war was over. Um, by the way, if you're looking at that weird thing, this is a Victorian 1850s hair bracelet. And I think that is uh, pretty cool. Now we have an Opaline glass perfume bottle there. Um, here's another Bruder Rockman bottle. This is a barber bottle. We have a French Baccarat. A commercial perfume bottle from the 20s. I have a 14 karat gold, um, white gold um, spectacles over here. Actually, it's a long, uh, it's called a long yet with a handle. Um, somebody thought this was sterling silver. It turned out to be 14 karat gold, the whole entire pair of glasses. So uh, that's cool. Now we have some Baccarat glass, uh, more Baccarat glass perfume bottles. Look at that, beautiful. Some American with uh, silver and daisies. Here's a Marcel Frank 1930s piston pump atomizer with a faux tortoiseshell pattern and some uh, beautiful Victorian lay down perfume bottles. This is an old needle case. Look at that, isn't that cool? From probably um, the Black Forest area of Germany. And it looks like a bear's claw, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, so I have uh, some antique teddy bears in here, some old opera glasses, um, I just love these dainty uh, women's accessories like the opera glasses, these old um, dance purses that I made out of silver. Here's another beautiful pair of opera glasses with the handle and another beautiful perfume bottle, all hand cut glass and a faux tortoiseshell women's trinket or pill box. And then last but not least, yes, I need to dust. Here's some antique uh, mohair animals. And that's a stiff fluffy from the 30s. Fluffy cat. I 
made that little tag. I thought that was funny. But uh, yeah, so I have some beautiful old trinket boxes, an old Meerschaum pipe or cheroot pipe. Look at that with the carving of Christopher Columbus, who's banned now <laughs> because of politics. Yeah, there's no more uh, Columbus Day in America. It's Indigenous People's Day. So there you go. There's Columbus the Explorer when he was considered an explorer. Um, and some old opera glasses. So, uh, yeah, and a beautiful old trinket box from France. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. So I thought I'd share some of my collection with you guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all soon. And what a pity, the story about uh, Bruder Rockman, the two brothers that were murdered by the Czech Communist partisans um, just after World War II. All right, guys, so long, and see you all soon.